Now we will see about sub dialogue element in VXML. So how the sub dialogue will perform and what is the purpose of it and then what is the syntax, how the example will be looks like that all we are going to see now. So uh, the sub dialogue means if you have a large number of code, a large number of components in a single application, that time if you wanted to break it like components, small small VXML documents, then we are going to use a sub dialogue element. So see here the main purpose is a sub dialogue element is used to invoke and interact with another voice XML document from within the current document. Document is same. Within the current document if you wanted to interact with another voice XML then you have to use a sub dialogue element. This can be useful for breaking up large VXML applications into smaller more manageable components or for reusing common functionality across multiple applications. Okay. So the syntax for the sub dialogue is sub dialogue src and method name list. These are the attributes you have to give. See here the src attribute specifies the URL of the voice XML document to be invoked and method attribute specifies the HTTP method to use when uh, making the request to the URL either uh, either get or post the name list attribute specifies a comma separated list of variables from the current document that should be passed to the sub dialog as parameters fine so now the example if you see you have to give sub dialog and src so which is another uh, vxml file you need to give it here and then method will be post or get anything you want you have you can give name list or uh, you can i mean separate it with a comma comma so that here i given var1 and var2 like this you need to give the sub dialogue element now the next example is output class so in VXML, the output class element mainly is used to associate a CSS class with an output element which allows you to apply styling to the output text. So if you wanted to apply any style, um, CSS style, then it will be useful. So here out syntax is output class, name and then expression. The name attribute specifies the name of the CSS class to associate with the output element and the expression attribute specifies an XPath expression that is used to determine when the class should be applied. The expression is evaluated again as the current voice XML documents data model and the class is applied to the output element whenever the expression returns a non-empty result. Right now this example is if see output class name and then highlight this so the text should be highlight output text. So that is the name I given expression is true. So the output class will get highlighted. So the output text will get highlighted. Okay this is the purpose of output class element. The next element is return. So in voice XML, the return element mainly is used to return a value from a sub dialog back to the main dialog that invoked it. I have explained right. So what is the purpose of sub dialog element in this video only. So which means if you wanted to call um, a particular um, VXML document within the document, uh, we, then that, that time we use a sub dialog. So, if you wanted to get a response return value from the sub dialog back to main dialog then this return has to invoke. The syntax of this is return name and then expression. The name attribute specifies the name of the variable in the main dialog to which the return value should be assigned and the expression attribute specifies an XPath expression that is used to determine the return value. Example you see return name result and expression count is I given as response which is from another sub dialog. So that response we are giving it to main dialog. Got it right. So I hope you understood well about these topics. If you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Thank you.